So yeah, before I joined the union, I uh, just kind of had to put up with whatever the contractor wanted to, to put me through. While I worked in uh, Yakima, like most people, I had low pay and no benefits. So I saw there was really no long-term future. Ultimately, when you don't have representation, you, you have to take what they're paying or try and find a shop that's paying more. And, uh, you know, health care benefits and any kind of retirement was almost non-existent. Non-union, they don't seem to care too much about safety. They're more worried about getting the job done fast. In the, and they don't care about neatness either because they just want to get the job done fast. There was instances where I didn't even realize I was being unsafe until I started working in a union shop. Uh, the downsides of working non-union, I would say, are uh, you don't get a lot of... Um, you don't get a lot of support for a lot of the work that you do. The only thing that really matters on the non-union side is that, you know, you show up for work, you know, but beyond that, you know, any other expenses or, you know, like you planning for the future, it's, it's just there's nothing, nothing more to it. You know, it's just, it's kind of bleak as far as like a, you know, a future in the, on the non-union side. Yeah, totally. I mean, the union was always played out as like a big bad wolf. Everybody I had ever worked with or for um, were very anti-union. I met a couple of guys, actually, who was very against the union. The funny thing is they never worked for union. You hear uh, a lot of negative stuff about uh, union employees and the attitudes and, uh, you know, the work ethic and, you know, it's all about me or, you know, whatever. So you hear a lot of uh, bad things. Yeah, I did hear a lot of bad things about the union, like they try to waste time and take advantage of the projects or the contractors by not working, but that's not the truth because they work just as hard as non-union electricians, so, and, but their work is way better, way better quality, so I think it's worth paying the extra money for a good quality job. The urban legend wasn't wasn't really true. It was you know, but it took coming over to to really realize how the system works and you know meet people and talk to people and really get a sense for what's really real. Everything that I've heard and what I've personally seen is, hey, we're busy, and if you're willing to work, we're we'll, we're willing to keep you. You know, I'd always heard how much dues cost and started to look into it and you know, find out, you know, what it really costs, which is for what we have. I mean, I, I, I would pay twice what, what I pay, you know, gladly for the benefits we have. My wife stays home. We have two little girls, you know, make mortgage payment, you know, not that it's always easy, but we don't struggle, you know, and I can't imagine if I was still on the other side, you know, I figure I'd be probably struggling. And I know I wouldn't be making what I'm making now. Uh, I joined the union because I got married and I need benefits that were worth a damn. When you're working this way, you know that everybody's getting the same as you and you have equal opportunity. Oh, benefits are way better than non-union. Uh, you actually get retirement. I didn't get anyone as a non-union worker. So, and then health and welfare as well. You need gloves, you need any kind of tools right there. The gang box is open. Take anything you need. It's so nice to have that stuff supplied. I'm not carrying it onto the job site every day. I'm not having to pack it every day, which is great. But just to have to show up on site and you go, here's a set of tools for you to use, um, you know, use them up. They're your tools to use. The union side, you're, you're set up right away. You know, your medical, pension, uh, dental, vision, er everything is covered, you know. And then also you're compensated really well too. Getting the word out to people that they have, they have the right to join the union. It's not just, you don't have to be born union, you just become union. Everybody has a chance and if you just go for it, you can be there just as, so, as well as anybody else and you deserve it as much as anybody. It's the best thing I ever did. I, I tell all my friends, my family, it, it's just the best thing I ever did. I couldn't, couldn't recommend it more highly. It's, it's just the way to go. If I had the choice, I would always belong to a union, something that, where I could hang my hat on it. So this is my career, it's not just a job. Well, I've got three retirements with a union, 26 years built up in that retirement. So I can't, and health and welfare on top of that. And I've got medical, dental, and eye care. 
Can I see anything bad about the union? No.